How's it going guys? So I just wanted to make this video as a part two to the first video that I made about writing content. So once I've actually completed writing my content, so as you can see now, I've got the whole thing done. Now I don't even bother with, you know, correcting the spelling here. Like I said, these are not real links. We've got a few Amazon links inside of this, but um, that's down here and whatever else. But what I actually next am gonna do is basically I'm gonna copy all of this and paste it into my uh, Word WordPress uh, backend. So what I would do is basically click uh, all of select all of that and then come over to here and then paste it in. So now I've got it into my actual WordPress folder. The next thing I'm gonna want to do is uh, basically start formatting this uh, content so what i'm actually going to do now is i'm going to create all of these i'm going to first of all get all of these links into the uh right links you know so they're the right hyperlinks so first things first is if you're focusing on one thing just do one thing don't confuse it so don't start you know editing this and doing that and whatever else if you're doing links just do links for the moment because that way you don't miss anything okay so the first things first and uh we're just gonna set all those links into where they should be okay so what i actually do is when i get like a link that i'm linking out to amazon what i would do is basically click this click here and then i would add make this no follow now this is a plugin there's a plugin called no follow something so it, it basically what it is is it will tell google's bot not to crawl this link because you don't want the google search engine to crawl this and go through this link because it's going to pass some of your ranking power or quote unquote your link juice through to your affiliate link and you just don't want that so you don't want the bot to crawl it what you want the bot to do is just crawl your normal links and outbound links great so once i've done all of the links next things next is i'm going to use this grammarly plugin so that's already enabled and the next thing i'm going to do is basically come through all of this content and actually uh, just uh, correct it so i'm going to make sure that it makes sense and whatever else and you can manually do this or you can just uh, come to the bottom down here click here it's telling me i've got 105 errors don't worry about it, it doesn't matter just want to briefly read it and just make sure it makes sense now my partner actually is editing all of these videos uh, sorry videos all of this content for me afterwards so um it's good to have her there to do that but um, she will read it through and make sense of it so what i'm going to do for the moment is just click 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 a majority of these things So once you've done that, the next thing I'm going to move on to is titles. So you want to, you know, get these up to scratch. So if you're using like H1 or H2s, then you want to get that all sorted here. Okay, so I personally uh, just use H2s. So that's what I prefer to use. Some people use H1, so on and so forth. But this is just what I use. So I also want to make sure that the uh, keyword is a few times inside of this article, at least like two or three times. Now, this is a long tail keyword, so I only use it like twice. So I'm just going to check that. And yeah, I can see that's in there. That's it. Brilliant. So I don't really need that any more times. The only thing I would do is put it in a title. So best brush for golden retriever shredding. So... Uh, we let that stay like that so that's all done so the next thing you want to do is save draft so each time that you do these changes you want to save draft okay now after i've done that the very last thing that i'm going to do is basically uh go back into this content and i'm going to make sure that these the sentences are the right lengths now for my theme it will all depend on your theme that you use Mine need to be about like that. So it needs to be like one full line and then come to about here or, you know, just halfway or whatever else. So this is pretty good. What I would do here is do that. And uh, just want to make sure this is all making sense. So that can go like that. And I'll just briefly come through and just scroll through this very fast. So that can go there. See, so I always put image goes here in brackets and sometimes I just put it in bold so I know where to put my images. Now, roughly the way I go about it, if I'm going to put images in, there'll be one there, one there. You know, I'll even put that one there that I had like in the brackets there. Then I might do one here, 
and then that's it that will do so what I tend to actually use for my images is Photoshop and what I'm going to do is basically just create a template so I'll put it into pixels now you can use Canva for this I have done a video on that where you can actually uh, see but I'll do a proper tutorial on exactly how to get this set up and what I'm going to do is basically uh, just start getting images now I haven't got images prepared maybe I could do that to uh, help myself in future you know something that I just don't do I enjoy just looking for them on the spot so um, what I come in and do is I look at the titles and then I think oh what kind of suits that you know what what is it that can go there so what I'm looking at is uh, I can see how do you know a good brush from a bad one and then I've got uh, what is the best brush for golden retriever shedding so I'm going to copy that and I'm going to make like a header with that okay so I'm going to get like brushes now what I do is a uh, dog brush and I'll show you what I do I go to images and what is good about this is you go to tools I'm going to select uh, what well, you can do large but labeled for reuse so it will bring up all of these uh, sites like Pixabay, Flickr, and these are all sites where you can reuse the images. So these are licensed for you to use, you know. So um, whatever it is that you choose, um, you're licensed to use it. So I'll give you an example of how I do this. So I'll get something like this. This looks pretty good. It's a bit blurry though, not, not good then. So uh, let's just take a look. This looks pretty good, I like that copy image okay and then I'm just going to resize that to the right size now you can see I want to show the whole wooden thing on here so what I'm going to do there's a little thing that I know how to do is you press W for wand and then shift and F5 content aware and then it will fill that with wood you know this is quite advanced stuff on Photoshop you guys might not know of but it doesn't matter if you see that little there doesn't matter I'm going to just clear that off okay so I'll just clean that up there that will get filled with some let's have a look try and get that to smudge over but that will do you know I could uh, potentially what I could do is if I wanted to be extra is take that duplicate this layer and then V move that up there and I could merge these two so I'm going to merge layers back into one deselect and then I'm going to smudge it like back in blend it in again there we go just let that kind of blend in somehow <laughs> not doing a great job at this am I but I haven't got the time right now but that will do like you know it just looks legit all right so that's good enough to save so I'll save that to desktop and that's uh, best tools okay so no actually I still want the title in there so what I'm going to do is do another layer on top then I'm going to color this layer white okay so put that on there sorry then I'm going to bring this and reduce it down so I'll bring that to about there and then what I'm going to do is reduce the size of this thing so I'll bring it like that and uh, we'll get back that title that I was using so let's get that title back okay brilliant and then T for text and then we're going to do a bit of text here and V that's it I don't know where that text came from not sure so make sure that's in the middle make sure it's black and then uh, gonna just make it a bit bigger so it might be 60 that's it that will do or maybe a bit bigger than that Let's see, 80. Uh, that's a bit better, doesn't it? Okay, now the idea is what you want to do is just get the blend nice on this. That's it. Give it that nice rustic look. 
and boom that's it so we've got that we're going to save that and now what i do is jpeg and i save it to only eight so it's not the highest quality but it's good enough and i'll show you what it looks like you know it looks pretty good you would never know the difference but it's good enough for images that would only be a very small image let's have a look how small that is so it's only 87 kilobytes you know zero point like something of a megabyte so so small okay so that's what would go up there so like i would go and do all of those images okay so i'll just go and repeat the process for all of those so i'm just going to show you what this kind of looks like when i uh, add it in so you can see here let's have a look just add that again don't know what went wrong it might go wrong again okay it worked this time and uh we just add that title again that's it see so that would come out like that and what it is is that would give like a head on the post so i'll show you how that kind of looks right now i'll show you what that looks like you see so that's what we're looking at it kind of comes up like that yep and so all i'll do is just keep coming back to this and checking these titles and then going out and finding the images so what's the best brush for golden retriever adults and then this is a brush from the one i'm recommending here so pretty much straightforward all i need to do is go up here and get the image off amazon so that's that one straightforward easy stuff all right that just needs to go in there make sure that's in the middle and then i'll just do another layer put that underneath so it's behind get that paint bucket make sure it's the same white and then boom dog brush we're just going to save all of these images and that's it i'll keep repeating that i really just wanted you to see this last one because it's really interesting when you actually come back and look at the titles it's like what's the best one then like i'm saying what is the best one at the end what's the final answer so because of that I, it allowed me to go up and actually search for something that i thought was really interesting so i was thinking you know what what is the final answer and then it's like what's the verdict you know what what's your final answer on this so same thing it's on labeled for reuse verdict i've got a nice image there and then i'm just going to come over to here and then delete that and then paste that one in and we'll just uh, make sure that's the right size and that is it literally we are done this is the last image as well so really good okay nice and quick only taking me about five minutes so far so just going to save that and final answer we'll just call it that that's for the alt text after as well you know on the images so we've got all of our images down here we've got that one for brushes and combs shedding here the brush i'm selling and the verdict and the title really good once you've done that it makes it so easy so i can grab all of those and just literally copy them all in so they're all going to get copied straight in and i can just add them in as I like into the post now when you've got these uh, titles set right you just have to copy them and then paste them into the alt text and this is for uh, Google to actually understand these images and know exactly what they're about so you just want to copy them and then insert it to post so we're going to do that for all of them so it's a straightforward easy process so you can see why do they shed so much so then I've got a dog shedding you know so gonna copy that V and that's it we're gonna paste that in and then we're gonna come down here there's the best brush so then we're gonna put in the picture of the one that I had and we're gonna copy that so Google knows what it is it's a dog brush there we go make sure that's all nice and formatted right okay and then best grooming brush you know so then verdict yeah brush that's it that's it put that in there boom that's it so we're going to save that 
okay now the next thing we're going to want to do just before um we actually you know get this live is we're going to have to do the meta description that's one thing so that's at the bottom but i'm going to put it into categories now this is going to be you know in the buyer's guide so you know what is the best this best that and it's also under a product review so it can go into both of those categories um, the featured image now what i'm going to do for the featured image is i'm going to set it to one of these images within the post so i'll probably uh yeah probably use that i'll just i might just take a new one to be fair dog brushes okay and i would have loved this one but it's just not clear uh let's have a look let's have a look fine i might just have to use this because this looks really natural so now I've just done the meta description. So that's just a bit on the extended part of your text. I've put the uh, keyword into the focus key phrase bit of Yoast SEO, and that's all good. Now, the last thing you're gonna do is you're gonna want to do some outbound links. Now, generally you wanna do like about two or three every, every post, at least at a minimum. So wherever you think that there's a relevant piece that you can link out to i genuinely just use like wikipedia or a dog official website as this is a dog site so you want to put it on just one word so what i do is you know like usually when i'm trying to get someone to click something i'll do like a sentence but when it's just an outbound link for the purposes of seo and also to help them you know if they wanted to find out more information then I will uh, basically just do it as one word because essentially you don't want them clicking that too much. You really ideally want them to uh, click your affiliate links, okay? So grooming is something, you know, I'll just like, what I'll do is type dog grooming in here. And then sometimes I'll just put wiki, like Wikipedia, you know, and um, it's gonna be on dog grooming. You can see I've used that before. So it would be a great one to use. Okay, just like that. So that's one and I'll do like another th three just because it's a long post, you know. Once you've finished up all of this, that is it. You're ready to publish, okay? So all I'm gonna do is make sure this is all good. This looks good to me. Um, my images are in there. I've got my outbound links. I've got my internal links. Uh, you know, it says readability needs improvement. Don't worry about that thing too much and um, i'm ready to go like you know i might just change that but that's about it this thing is ready to go so i'm going to publish that and, and let's just have a look at how that looks so just going to wait for that to load up okay so just close those windows so the next thing i'll do is force index this on the search console and then after that I will let's see so we've got all those images I'll force index it and then after I'll put it in my tracking tool so I can see where I'm ranking for it and that's about it that's all she wrote I hope you enjoyed this post if you are new make sure to subscribe I've got to shorten that gap there and also yeah if you like the video make sure to leave a like on it thank you for watching and I'll see you soon